Welcome to Gansu Colorful Dansha Landform. Today is not so colorful. Mostly because the sky is gray. It's been raining. Although supposedly after a rainy day, it becomes the most colorful when the sun comes out. But as of now, we still have overcast skies and dull red and white and a little bit of yellow striations. Let's look at these ai, these aunties here. Aunties in China always have scarves when they travel. And they always want to take a picture with their scarf. And I don't know why. Please, if you're Chinese, explain to me. Please explain to me why every ai has a scarf when they travel. Please teach me the ways of China. It's one thing I still don't understand. You may have seen a place like this on the internet. Or you may have seen this place. Uh, there's a really famous one that's very similar, also kind of like a rainbow mountain, striped mountain, in the Andes in Peru, I believe. And this one is like China's version of that. I came here four years ago, last time I was in Gansu. And I really enjoyed my time here. And now, I came back to see it again. And I gotta tell you what, it has changed a lot from a development perspective. As I was deciding on my, my route across China, or basically every day I, I look at what I want to do the next day. As I was deciding if I wanted to come back here again, I was looking it up, right? And one of the funniest things I saw was people complaining that this place isn't as colorful as it should be, or as colorful as the pictures say, or whatever. People complaining about a natural phenomenon, complaining about a geomorphological event or process, or I can't imagine it, like going online and complaining the rocks aren't striped enough, not like a rainbow. To me, it's mental. What do you guys think? Would you ever consider going up to like the North Pole, the Arctic Circle, going and seeing Aurora Borealis and complaining the sky is not green enough? Or uh, going to Half Dome and complaining that it's not a perfect Half Dome? Some people boggle my mind. It's the same kind of person that when I had a restaurant that complained that my ice cream milkshake was too cold. Same kind of people, go on, go on Yelp or Chinese Yelp, Dajong Dianping, and complain about this stuff. Blows my mind. I think it's beautiful, as it is, red or not red. All right, so this place just became an actual, an actual national park in 2014. Um, before that, it was like a, still like a, a, a park, but not a national park. And it's become more and more famous. Lots of people come take pictures here. And they photoshop the hell out of the picture, or saturate the picture. And then it becomes very, very red. Very, very yellow, very, very colorful. And it's never really like that, obviously. It does become more colorful at times, but not so much. Like the, uh, like the manipulated images. Anyway, because of all that marketing, uh, a lot more people have come here. Last time I was here, they had these little tiny green buses. They were like provincial city buses that you might find in like a really low tier city. Ones with handles and things like that. You know, like actual, like a city bus. And now when they take you around the roads here, they take you in like a luxury, not a luxury, but a coach, like actual, a bus you would sit on like long distance travel with actual seats instead of standing room hanging on the thing. Um, so they've done that. And they've also built up tons of platforms here. Before they had a few wooden platforms and now it's like these massive spaces, pavilions on top of every mountain. This is just four or five years ago, 2016, 2016. Five years ago, yeah, time flies. Uh, last time I came, yeah, there were a lot of people, but not like this. And this is, you know, post-COVID era, and this is a cold day. Last time I came in summer, I guess heat probably kept people away, because it was really hot out here in the desert. So anyway, last time I don't remember there being two separate entry fees. Right now, today, they have one entry fee to see the first four striped mountains and then an additional entry fee to see the next three. There's seven striped mountains you can see. 
or these seven stripe mountain lookout points. Now the first four mountains are the ones I chose to see today. And that entry fee is 74 RMB. It includes the, the buses that take you around and includes the entry to the, the national park. To see the next three mountains, it's 360 quai. So that's a lot of money, that's over $50. 74 quai is just, I don't know, 10 bucks or so, I guess, I don't know. My math sucks. Maybe 360 quai is not quite $50, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's a lot of money to come see some three extra mountains. They say that those mountains are much more colorful, much prettier, and that's why it costs more. But I'm not gonna find out today. I remember last time seeing everything, and I really don't remember having a choice, and I really don't remember spending anywhere near that much money. But with all these visitors that have been coming here, they've really been able to develop it, I guess improve it, so to speak, and uh, offer more options for people. All these pathways too. Everything was wooden last time. I checked my pictures. That's all I remember is wooden platforms and wooden stairs. And now we have permanent brick pathways, stone pathways, rails. It's nice. So this is formed, um, these stri striations have been formed from millions of years of uh, sedimentation deposits, um, different minerals, and then plate tectonics have forced it upwards. And that's my geomorphology lesson for today. If you want to know more, please refer to the internet because I study geography, not geology, in college. So I've said before that most places in China that require a ticket, scenic spots, are generally not necessarily worth the price of admission compared to places that are free. But this is definitely one of the ones that's worth the price of admission. Definitely for 74 kwai, it's a pretty good deal. Just don't complain. The mountains aren't red enough when you come. Or yellow enough, or stripey enough, or whatever. The complain maybe and don't complain about how cold your milkshake is either Josephine. okay so here as I said um, so there was sedimentary deposits a long time ago and then the continental crust uh, moved and then uplifted and exposed the colorful hills. Um, perfect. I'm a genius.